Bronze, Buckos, Bounties. Wait, they fly now? They've always flown, you idiot. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Yo, Bucko, it's Zero, coming back to you with another figure of you. Today we have the Star Wars Black Series Gaming Grades Imperial Rocket Trooper. Now, this took forever to get here, I feel like. And they're already shipping out the Flame tr Trooper, so I'm always wondering, like, what the hell happened? But yeah, anyways, guys, um, the original release of this figure is one of my favorites, but... Let me tell you already, I'm kind of finding this release a little lazy, especially since they're raising their prices too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the gaming rates, but I, <coughs> I didn't really have any problems with the gaming rates before. I thought they were like nice repaints and stuff, but this, this is kind of lazy, but I don't know. Maybe I'll take it out of the package and just like it because it's, you know, it's a repaint of one of my favorite troopers, but you know what? Let's go ahead and... Without further ado, let's figure that one out. So, taking a quick look at the packaging, you got, of course, the beautiful blue, which my camera doesn't do any justice to it, and neither does any of the photos that are on GameStop, but it's the nice, like, teal blue. It's not quite the Rogue One packaging colors, but it's pretty nice. Then we got Star Wars Battlefront 2, Imperial Rocket Trooper. Now, these guys are actually originally from Rebels, I believe. Um, and then this one is from Battlefront 2, so you got your side of the box, that pretty badass portrait. He's number one, and I think Cal Kestis is number two, hold on. Yeah, so Cal Kestis is definitely number two, and he lines up very nicely um, here. And then the next figure after this is going to go ahead and be the Flame Trooper coming out pretty soon here. So, kind of looking forward to getting that, but again, it's a lazy re-release I think so we'll see when that actually gets here in the back of the box Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the ultimate Star Wars battle fantasy letting players call in reinforcements from the most skilled soldiers and unit in the galaxy including the Imperial rocket trooper who's rained down fire from the skies yeah this is pretty lazy at least the other one had a bio um, side of the packaging you got the gaming race logo here so that's a first and then bam blue stripe top of the packaging vent bottom of the packaging unreadables let's go ahead and get this rocket trooper out of the packaging and I'm also guessing the gaming race sticker is also I didn't even notice that it's on the actual plastic so you're gonna pull that out and it's gonna be right there so that's interesting all right and straight out of the packaging, um, there's already a few things that this figure is lacking from the other release. Um, it's just very minor changes, but I'm actually really annoyed with them. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into that in one second. We're going to go ahead and get accessories. And now, the very first thing that annoys me is he comes with an E11. Now, the E11 does have a little bit of silver painting on it. On it. It does have a little bit of silver painting on it, so it's just a black, flat, kind of grayish E11, but what really annoys me is that on the original Trooper, it comes with this very nice, uh, like, silver gray painted one. Like, look, look how nice this is compared to that. That's, yeah, it's very nice, very weathered, looks very worn in, you know, but look how lazy this was. Like, they at least gave you silver paint, but man, so he really is shiny and new. I don't really, that's uh, not really the worst thing ever. At least they gave, you know, it's very rare that we actually see paint on some blasters like this. I do have a couple, but yeah, but that goes ahead and holsters into here. Now I do like this white blaster because it kind of matches the feel of the rocket trooper a little more. So yeah, the white blaster is kind of cool. I like that. Um, here, the white blaster holster is kind of cool. I kind of like that. So, that's not too bad. I actually really like how that blends in. But, is that accurate? I have no idea. I don't really play Battlefront 2. Um, the next accessory, technically, it is an accessory. It is his uh, backpack right here. Now, this you can go ahead and unplug those. Here's a better look at it. Now, if you really wanted to, you could plug this onto 
another stormtrooper. <clears throat> yeah, so you could plug this onto another stormtrooper if you wanted to. Um, it's pretty universal, so as long as it's the older mold, it will go go onto it pretty nicely. But this could be a cool kind of jetpack thing you could just give if you don't want to use this figure. You could just give it to something and it would look pretty cool. So that's an idea if you want to have uh, some unique stormtroopers if you have a ton of these old guys, which most likely you don't because this is hard enough for me to get my hands on one. So, but if you do, I kind of applaud you because that means you've been collecting for a while and you made some good army building decisions. Yeah, you can go ahead and just plug these back in here. These do not come out from the helmet. Same thing with the old one. Now, I guess this is where we're going to start the figure. Um, start taking a look at the figure. We're just going to take a look at the differences. Uh, I'm actually going to use this other guy because this one does have a little paint blotch, but it's not a big deal. So right away I'm noticing um, the there's way darker colors up on the helmet you notice that one these are dusty as hell but um, first thing is these pipes are gray versus this black um, I actually do like the gray either one I, I like I don't know I like the small little change I mean overall I like this figure because it's different but it just annoys me a little bit then obviously there's no yellow there so kind of sucks and then the gray is even like narrower on the helmet but it's still trying to capture the same design kind of wish they went with the darker gray but it's unique it's not too bad then the blue lines are actually really well done on the new one yeah most of the paint on the new one is better done because I think this is around the time they first started doing the face tech so most of these lines on the newer helmet are lined up way better it just sucks that now you're missing details like that you know awesome little paint details like that yeah um, that's it in terms of the helmet now what is that in there hold on interesting so where there's yellow here there's gray in there interesting but yeah, the blue is even a different color on the original release. It's like the kind of teal blue, while this is a darker blue. Yep, the lines are more cleaned up on the newer release. Then getting down to the shoulder, I immediately noticed something. Not only is the shoulder different, a completely different sculpt, it's also rubbery. This one is not rubbery at all. It's very... Eh, okay, it's a little rubbery, but not that rubbery compared to this like you cannot lift this up it's a shorter elbow pad and I guess what they're going for is to give it better articulation because you really can't like move this that much but honestly it doesn't really help at all <laughs> uh, my shoulders frozen yeah, it really doesn't help too much at all um, you maybe get it up a little more than the other trooper Actually, you really don't even get it. Yeah, you really don't get it up that much more than the other trooper. Because of that, you have this very like matted plastic that doesn't match the rest of the figure, kind of. I don't know if you could tell. This is very rubbery. Um, and it like just does not match. It's, I don't know. It doesn't look as good. It, yeah, it's like very, very nasty looking almost. Uh, you might have to clean that up with an exacto. I don't think I'm going to take the time to do that because he's going to be most likely flying. Which, again, it's kind of cool that we have, you know, flying figures like this. But and also, um, I'm noticing on his chest, the buttons are gray here instead of the black, which that's very interesting. Um, back here it's the same details actually even on the jetpack it's a little different you got the black here versus the gray so that's interesting and then besides that uh, there's really not too many differences here you got your black holster and that's it pretty much 
Oh, but you're missing some paint down here. Very interesting. Yeah, you're missing just that little tiny bit of paint. This makes it makes me wonder why didn't you just release like I think there's a red one of these, right? Am I right? No, I don't know. But I think there's a red one, red, like he has a red uh, shoulder pad, red on here, and he's a commander or something. I would have much rather gotten that figure, but this is just lazy. <laughs> And I'm only saying it's lazy because I like the original figure so much, but this is not even new. It, it's one thing if they made it new, um, if they made it the new tech or the new body, but it's the old mold and it's just plain white rocket trooper. And you know, he's a pretty good figure. I'm not going to lie. Um, I just, there's a few paint details that I wish they kind of had and <clears throat> I just think he's a lazier release you know for $25 he should have come with extra accessories something you know extra paint extra something but instead they get rid of this thing to try to give him better articulation which he doesn't have and just looks nastier overall but anyways enough about that let's go ahead and get into the articulation so his head is on a hinge, it goes up into a ball joint, his head pops off if you go too far, of course. Go up that far, down that far, and you get some okay range of movements out of here. You're not going to get too many because, I mean, why would you look up when you could fly up? <laughs> then you got a hinge hole at the shoulders, and this shoulder's frozen, of course, and I cannot get to it right now, so... Bam, goes up that far, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, very nice. Um, you got a hinge swivel at the wrist, this one goes in and out, and it is also frozen, very cool. This one is also frozen, no, just kidding, this one goes up and down. I notice the gloves are a very rubbery color compared to this kind of like glossy color we've gotten before. It's very interesting. It appears to be the whole undersuit like that, so very cool. Um, where is I at? Got a ball joint, torso, legs go forward that far, back not too much, out that far, double jointed knees. He has ass kickers. Um, then he has thigh swivels. He has a hinge at the ankle and a forward-facing pin for rockers. All right, let's get this rocket trooper into the air. show him off next to some other figures so of course here he is next to the new black series stormtrooper mold and the old stormtrooper mold and here he is next to the new phase one clone and a clinker and here he's next to lord vader and cal kestis and as always here he's next to luke skywalker squawker and old left limbs honestly i'm not sure about the gaming greats anymore um you know before it was pretty cool to have some figures and really unique paint schemes that we wouldn't have otherwise seen you know like this battle droid or the shadow stormtrooper and it w it's been all repaints mostly some new remolds but this this is pretty lazy this is not this is like I don't know this isn't even really a repaint it's just a lack of paint and you're paying almost what 25 27 dollars for these things now I think it's about time you start giving us actual figures instead of like troops. I mean, don't get me wrong, the troops are cool, but you gotta step up your game soon, Hasbro, because this is getting out of control. <laughs> well, besides that, he's a pretty cool figure, especially if you don't have the original Rocket Trooper, so if you're an army builder or an Imperial collector like me, you need this figure, so 
It's all up to you guys. You can bring them in warm, or you can bring them in cold. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.